Well, this TV has a backlight problem. This one is an edge lit TV. The LEDs sit on the bottom. There are three strips of 64 LEDs each. 32 of these LEDs, as we can see here, are not lit. You may either see this picture or it may be that the TV doesn't turn on at all, but it shows a flashing front LED. The code would be one long, one short. If it doesn't turn on at all, it's because the main board doesn't allow the TV to turn on. You can remove the cable going to the main board and connect three switches. In order to drive the LEDs, you will need to connect PS on to 5V, then standby STB to 5V and then PWM1 to 5V as well. If the power supply unit works, the LEDs will turn on apart from the faulty ones, of course. To get access to the LEDs, the panel needs to be disassembled. Probably the best would be to lift the LCD front glass, but that would need some special equipment, so I decided to lay the TV onto the front glass and lift the whole back assembly instead. I cut an OSB board I had lying around to the sides a little smaller than the panel, and then I put some soft wrapping material on it and then the LCD panel on top. Then all the screws holding the panel together were removed and the individual panel sides disassembled. The tab bonds connecting PCB and LCD together are very sensitive, so care must be taken not to damage them. Once everything is removed, the back assembly can be carefully lifted. We see the LCD glass to the left and the rest of the frame to the right. And now we have access to the LEDs. When we turn them on, we see there are indeed 32 LEDs not being turned on. We find one defective LED and due to the uncertain outcome of this repair, I decided to short this LED instead of buying a, a new LED strip. The current through them should remain stable and therefore the output voltage that can be measured coming from the driver circuit should be slightly lower than for the other two circuits. The secondary voltage of the main power transformer is about 91 volt here and when the driver starts the LED voltage will go up to about 180 volts. On the other two circuits it's 184 volt. The LEDs are mounted on an aluminum PCB and this PCB was glued onto the frame which means the frame probably served as a heatsink. Since I don't have anything to glue it back I use screws. The final test shows us the LEDs working with a slight difference in brightness of the repaired strip. Now everything needs to be reassembled. Here on the last picture we can see that I probably applied uneven pressure when putting it back together and the missing LED is also visible but the result is good enough. If you can source a new LED strip this will probably be better. I also turned down the backlight adjustment in the menu to about half. It was initially adjusted to the maximum value. So uh, that's about it. You can do it alone, but it's probably uh, it's easier if you have a friend to help you out with this. Well, thanks for watching. Good luck.